Hi, I'm Don. Today, we're going to prime some Gundam Pilot figures with Vallejo Mecha Primers. Cleanup of these figures were not easy. They're made up of some sort of rubber, same with PC parts and, or something like that. You had to sculpt away the mold lines and scrape it with sharp art knives. You could also sand it with 1000 grit sandpaper. Um, I glued it on a cork, then off to priming. We are using Vallejo black primer, then mix with flow improver and thinner. I can't tell you the ratio, but later you'll see the consistency that you need for airbrushing. Uh, mix the mix mix everything well before you airbrush, and also have a test paper beside you so that you could test spray before spraying on the kit. Always spray in thin coats. Um, I applied, I think, three thin coats of black. Start with the crevices, then move away from the crevices to the broader areas. You don't need to cover the whole figure with, with the first coat. But eventually, especially with the third coat, um, the figure will tend to look glossy. But then again, it will level down and it will look great after. Now we'll do zenithal lighting. Well, zenithal lighting or priming, zenithal priming, is simulating the light source of the figure. So we're using Vallejo Mecha white primer, mixing it at the same ratio as the black primer. Ratio is roughly four parts primer, then one part flow improver and one part thinner. I do not advise mixing it in the airbrush cup. Um, later you'll see I'll be mixing it in a small glass cup. Test spray on paper before spraying on the kit. Then spray in even thin coats. I'm trying to simulate the white source. So I'm spraying the white primer from the right upper right side of the figures. This is practically similar with pre-shading. The difference is that they're just simulating the light source. Well, um, traditional pre-shading is like making sure that the details are popping out. This one is sort of doing that too, but more of simulating the light source. There, we're done with the priming. We kind of simulated the lighting, um, spraying white primer on the upper right side of the figures. Now let's start with the colors. I chose make a color pink, light flesh, and off-white. This time I'm mixing on a glass cup. So you'll see the consistency that we want before we put it inside the airbrush cup. I'm mixing the paint with flow improver and thinner. Then mix it well. You
could see the consistency that we need. It's it's like a milky sort of consistency. It should be sticky enough, but at the same time, it should slide through the cup when you're pouring it to the airbrush. I need more precision with the airbrushing here, so I adjusted the knob of my harder and steam back before airbrushing. Always test on a piece of paper before spraying on the kit itself. The base color of our skin is Vallejo Mecha Color Pink. I applied three thin coats of this color before moving on to the highlights. We're using light flesh for the highlights but I'll mix a bit of off-white to make it lighter. Razio is roughly five parts paint and one part thinner and one part flow improver. Mix it well into a milky consistency again, then pour it in the airbrush cup. Again, test the mixture on a piece of paper before spraying directly on the kit. If you need to adjust the paint consistency, adjust that first before then test it on paper again before spraying on the kit. We are simulating the light source again from the upper right side of the figure. So we're spraying on the right side. Um, downwards, then spray in thin coats. We're done. At least we're done with the base color of the skin. We can make this pop out with more shadows and more highlights, but this video is getting longer. We'll do that on part two. Then for me, the, the most fun part of doing this pilot figures is drawing or I mean painting the eyes. For some reason, I have hundreds of Vallejo paints, but I don't have a liquid mask. I'm, I'm torn between getting a liquid mask and airbrushing the rest of the figure or hand painting the rest of the way. That's it, we're done, at least for this video. We'll resume painting of this figure soon and we'll make sure to put up the video here. Again, this is done. That was painting with Vallejo Mecha Color Primers and the Skin Tone. Until next upload guys, thanks! Thank you.